Most of my writing is like the people in my life who fall somewhere between strangers and friends. The spoken word poem I always recite in the shower is like that guy I exchanged numbers with at DNA Lounge Saturday night, knowing very well we'd have nothing to talk about on Sunday. <laughs> The short story that got trashed in workshop is like the friend who stopped talking to me because our relationship wasn't healthy for her, but still keeps in touch with a mutual friend who regularly hallucinates she's the Virgin Mary. <laughs> the blog post that keeps saying I'll publish once I clean up some rough edges is the friend who makes a slightly misogynistic remark every time I see him but occasionally says something mind-blowing about astral travel, so I invite him to lunch every few weeks. <laughs> the academic essay I'm trying to repurpose as a think piece is the boss who drove me to quit my last job, but receives cordial emails from me because I want her to write me a recommendation on my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> The parody I waited two hopeful weeks for McSweeney's to reject is the love interest from yoga class I figured was just busy when he didn't text me back until I ran into him at a club in Soma and he said, what's your name again? <laughs> the prose poem that sounded really brilliant at the time is the girl who instantly befriended me after a networking event but fell off the face of the earth when she got a boyfriend named Keith who rides a motorcycle. <laughs> the autobiography I've given up on salvaging is the ex I've slept with a few too many times post-relationship to salvage a friendship. <laughs> the lyric essay I can't submit because my college literary journal owns the rights. It's the high school friend I instant message from time to time, but haven't seen in the flesh since I was 17. Just as I'm still Facebook friends with all these people, in case some unforeseen circumstance gives us something to talk about, I save these documents in a Google Drive folder, hoping one day we'll reconnect. <laughs>